Well, boys, we're back in the jungle. This is Everglades day number two. Still fishing with Jesse. We are patrolling around in a little canal right now, and uh, hopefully we get started on a really epic day. Today it's cold. I never thought I'd be wearing bibs in Florida in two long sleeve shirts, but it is damn chilly. Woke up bright and breezy this morning. We've got uh, full intentions on absolutely wrecking the day. There's two fish that we're kind of after, and that being that big snook, something that breaks my personal bus, which is, by the way, like I think 10 inches. Not caught very many big snook or snook for that matter in general. And we're also looking for a nice little largemouth. That's the wackiest thing about the Everglades is you can catch saltwater species right alongside freshwater species, which I'm used to catching. You know, bass is like something that I grew up fishing. Snook, not so much. It's gonna be tough to leave Florida, especially the Everglades specifically. We're gonna try to make the most uh, here on our last day in Southern Florida. Hopefully crank on them. Tarpon come up in here too? They don't? That's weird. That's the first thing I've seen all day. Another one right there. What? The? Dude, that is the weirdest thing ever. Like they go at it and they like spook themselves. I've never seen that before. Dude, that's what I was telling Elliot when we were at that, well, like I had this vision of like, like at night having like a pool and having it like lit from the bottom and then just seeing like a like a shark swimming around the pool. They'd be so sick. There we go. There's something. There's another shark. What do I have here? Snook? Wow, killing it. What are you thinking, dude? What are you absolutely thinking? Big snookies on deck. Throwing a little white swim bait right now. And I've absolutely crushed this guy's mouth. What are you thinking, man? I almost feel terrible hooking this guy, but he fell for the bait. Yeah. Absolutely jam. Oh yeah. Little snow. Yeah, a little bit better. A little bit better. A bunch of stuff just spooked off too. Snook number two. It's a little, that's actually a lot better than the first one I caught. <laughs> they have the craziest ladder line I've ever seen in a fish. Wow. Cool. Bye. Dude, they chafe off that line like no other. I've caught three fish and my line feels like it's about to snap. It's crazy. So that shrimp just looks so much better already. Just flutters. It's so such a good looking lure. Did I? Oh. Are you serious? See the blowout. Nice. Way to go. Another one? Right there. Oh right here. What? Oh, there's more going on. What? Oh the reds. There's a red right there. Redfish. Where? Where? Can't see me. No. Going left. Yeah. Where should I go? Oh, right there? On the tree? Far left. See? See that dark shadow right underneath that that green leaf? He just turned around. Now he's facing the tree. Now he's facing the tree. Now he's coming out. Go ahead. To the left? Okay. I don't know how to explain. He's coming straight up. See the only place that has mangrove leaves? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. To the left? Hit to the right of it. Right of it? Go ahead and throw it. To the right. You mean that one? I don't. Oh, I, I think it's... <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I see it. Oh, there you go. Got him. Oh, that's so sick. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Epic. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was so sick. That was so sick, boys. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's try to play him here. That was so dirty. <laughs> yes. 
Oh my gosh. Yep. I think I'm gonna don't bring him, and I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, dude, that's so sick. Let's go put it there, Jesse. Oh. Mission accomplished. That is such a sick fish. The audio is gonna be hilarious because both Jesse and Alex are like, yo, he's right in there, cast him. Like, I can't see anything. He's like right under the mangrove leaf. I'm like, I'm like, which one? I don't know. I'm so lost right now. Finally got a good glimpse of the fish. Sight cast to him. And he crushed it. That was a very you know how refreshing it is to have one of these fish actually key in on the shrimp shrimp down the go that's my biggest snook ever i know it's not a megalodon but to me this is a giant this is just like such a special moment that was such a dirty fight <laughs> i don't think i've ever caught anything that looks quite like this man its eyes on the top of its head huge mouth crazy colors oh dude it's such a special fish look at that underbite too That is an Everglades snook. That's what we came down here for, that fish. Hey, put her there, man. Thank Good you so shot, much. Dude. Good Huge shot. shout out to this guy for coaching me through step by step what to do, what baits to use, how to make the cast, where to present that lure, and then how to, how to fight the fish. Just, believe me, that's unlike anything I've ever caught before. Very different fight, very weird fish. To see so many fish that big and even larger and then spook them off, it's so refreshing to finally get one to eat. I didn't think it was gonna happen, I was like, these snookers are being assholes today. We got her done though. Woo! Let's go. Is that a fish right there? It's a fish, isn't it? Yep, that's a fish. It's right there. Yep, 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 yep. Face a mouse, yeah. Do you see him anymore? Really do I. Oh, I see him. Way, way, way in the middle. Right in the, no, 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 no. 20 feet to the left. Were you just through, but yeah. a little bit more to the right? Now he's going underneath the green tree. Yep. It's, a, yep. it's a red. Right oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Got him. Oh, good one, dude. Nice red. Nice red. Wow, that was dirty. Wow, that's a good red. Holy sh that's a good red. Okay, boys. That is a very nice fish. <laughs> How cool was that? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, this is why the Everglades is so fing badass. Oh my god. He had no clue, buddy. You had no idea what was about to go down. You thought you had a nice little shrimp meal. This guy here. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. You guys got the gist. That was a nice redfish. Just to come tight on a big fish like that was was all that I needed. Oh my god. So at one moment, we're chasing a, a snook up in the shells and here's some lay downs. And the next, we're stocking a red ski. That was definitely the biggest one on the trip. Wow, that was so intense, so intense. Let's get another. I can still see him. He's going underneath the big, the biggest clump of them right now. Now he's stopped. Oh, he's, he's five feet behind you right now. Behind me? Yeah, where you just, your same cast right now would be perfect. Should hear that and find that. Oh, what? <laughs> what? The heck of the day? Not ideal. <laughs> Chasing a redfish and somehow we catch a snook. Is he still there? Oh, what the? F giant snook! Giant oh f snook! God. Oh my god! Yep. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Stop! 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 Real, 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 as quick as you can. There you go. Right? That gets you going a little bit. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and that's not the ones I've been seeing. Yeah, that was probably more than that 30s. 30s? Dude, he was just sitting there. I don't know if you guys saw that on the GoPro, but that was like the biggest snook I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was a good six inches from the boat. Um, had no worries at all. I didn't care that we were there. Wow, that thing was huge. Yeah, Holy moly. Didn't, yeah, really slow. Just kind of, eh, whatever. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. There he is, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Big red, big, big red, big red, big red. Oh my god, that's a big one. No, 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 no. <sighs> that was a huge one, man. That ball, I think, got him going as well. Oh, wow, guys, this, this type of fishing, what I've learned over the past two days of being in the Everglades, is it's just 
it's tedious, man. You, you, not every fish you see is going to eat, even if the fish has the, got the back to you and he's comfortably 20 yards away. It's just every fish is different. And, and even though they're looking down on one to eat, I don't know. It's just, you got to put it right in front of their face and it's got to be a fish that's willing. And how do you know if it's a willing fish? You don't. That's why you got to make cast every single thing that you see. So many variables too, you know, how clear the water is, if there's mullet in the area, spooking the fish or getting other fish riled up. Damn, it's frustrating. But when it happens and when you do get that fish to connect, it's the best feeling ever. I can't explain. And that's exactly why I think you guys need to come down here and do this type of fishing because this is super, super rewarding. Look at that little red fish. Little, little red fish. This is crazy. This is a way better water. Here's one. Got him. That was sweet. God, he crushed it, dude. That fish crushed it. Did I snag him? I may have snagged him. Did I snag? I snagged him. Dude, he went fuck a bat out of hell. Of course, it's a little one. I miss all the big ones, but I can snag a little one like a wacky worm. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was so weird. One of the big things you can do down in the Everglades is you can sight fish for, I mean, just about anything, right? But mostly it's gonna be redfish and snook that you're, you're looking for. So we're on this flat that's about a foot of water. Jesse's back there pushing my way through this kind of grassy flat and we're looking for these guys and also snook and this guy was like the first one to actually rush towards it but for some reason when he rushed towards it he decided to eat with his his belly he just rubbed his belly all over my shrimps so i don't know i don't know why i snagged him but i mean he cooked for it he was definitely interested A really epic fish man you can notice how dark this one is opposed to the last video where we were catching those very silver reds this guy's dark and fully chromed out Personally, I like the way these ones look just a little bit better, not to discriminate. Jesus! But yeah, nice little redfish catch. Time to go back in the water. He was ready. <laughs> he got me slimed out too. Hey, it counts, right? Half counts, 50% catch? It counts. <laughs> he says it counts. <sighs> Thought that was it. <laughs> I really thought that was it, man, because my, li my line went slack. Man, I thought that was really it. The wasp? You just ate it. That was sweet. That was so cool. Still crushed it. <laughs> yeah, after he blew out. Can, 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 can this bee get, get out of here? Hey, bee, get out of here. I'm trying to catch a redfish. Very dope. Can't get the big ones, but hey, I'm a micro wizard. <laughs> Spooked him once, and I made a half decent cast the second time, and she ate it. Oh, that was so sick. That was so sick, boy. He choked it. He choked it. Another fish right there. There's some stuff going on, boys. We have got some stuff going on. Oh, I got him. Check that out. That would be my second biggest snook of the trip. One thing we're struggling with right now is avoiding spooking these fish because of, you know, how dirty some of this water is and how, uh, like, quiet these fish are being. I know that doesn't really make sense because fish don't really make noise, but they're just being very subtle. They're just kind of sitting there, and you can't really spot out a sitting fish, especially if it's right down in the mud. But this guy was spotted by Jesse, threw right in front of him. He absolutely wanted it, like wanted it. I wish they were all eating like this, but hey, if we can get one on the board every few yards, I'll be stoked. Redfish here, and then a snook there. You wanna, you wanna hang out, buddy? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> there he goes. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> Woo! Epic, man, that gets my jimmies pumping. This is so crazy. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a mullet right there, and that mullet was getting chased by three bull sharks. And right now I'm going to hook this mullet and I'm going to feed it to the sharks. So this mullet was pushed up on the bank by three bull sharks. We're searching for redfish and snook and we saw the sharks circling. So we rescued the mullet and we're gonna put it on the hook and see if we can get these sharks to go buck wild for the uh, mullet. Ooh, he's, oh, oh, he's pooping. Sorry about that, Jesse. I have a little bit of mullet poop on your boat. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. They're so shy. Dude, this is so nuts, though. He wants, he wants it so bad. Oh, look. Oh, he's tearing it up. 
<laughs> That's a shark. That's a shark. <laughs> he took the mullet. <laughs> that was unreal. That was so f insane. <laughs> Did you get any of that? Oh, just uh, interesting antics out here in the Everglades. By the way, guys, there's sharks here. Holy sh the thing just broke me clean. There he is right there. He's still circling. What a f fruity situation that was. I mean, there was no way we were getting that guy. It's just using floor carbon. See you later. <laughs> Pretty epic though. <laughs> That's so neat. What is that? Jack. It's a Jack. No way. It's so sick. We have yet another interesting Everglades fish species. This is a little Jack Creval. Similar species of fish. It's one of my favorite fish ever, that being the giant Trevally. These guys get pretty big though. Can't sleep on the Jacks. They're hardcore fish and they run in these uh, Everglade backwaters. And they like shrimp. What, is there anything that doesn't like shrimp? Ever Nothing. Everything love loves shrimp. Nothing. Yeah, even the largemouth, I bet, would eat shrimp. <laughs> so that's that's a new species we can add to the list. I haven't done the total tally yet, but we've caught a, a lot of really cool fish this trip. Actually, I didn't realize this, but these little jacks have got some pretty disgusting teeth. Wow. Don't sleep on the jacks. Well, since this is uh, in the family of a GT, we got to do the GT bus release. Ready? Yo! <laughs> awesome. Or for any fish, I guess. Tons. There we go. Nice one. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Take that all day. Wow, that was pretty sick. I literally just pitched my shrimp into a lay down as if I was bass fishing, and out comes a snook. So rad. Ah, really dark one. I'm not tied up. Are you serious? How big? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Yep, I see him. Oh, oh that's a good one. Got him. That was so sick. Got him. The other one went off. Oh, that's so sick. Oh my God. Dude, I was rigging up. I, dude, you should see my tag end right now. It's huge. I've got the world's biggest tag end. <laughs> that was so sick, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Choked it. I didn't see the eat. I just felt it. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Can't make this up, you guys. Literally, we just pulled the spot feeling kind of down in the dumps because had a semi-slow afternoon and I'm tying up a new leader. Jesse's like up top of the tower and he's like, yo, I see two snook. And I'm like, wait, you gotta be kidding me. I'm rigging up right now. I tied my leader on as fast as I could, got it all rigged up and uh, actually take a look at this. This is some jankiness. This is some John B. jankiness right here. Look at the tag end on there. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't even have, uh, have time to clip the tag end to make it cast this fish. Clearly he didn't care. This guy was just looking for a meal. That's a nice one, probably the second biggest one of the day. Good stuff. Let's go. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Soak the camera, everything. Oh, he's a wizard. Oh, there's one. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's not bad. First like, blind cast snook of the day. Oh, yeah, he's oh, it's a red. <laughs> <laughs> what What's going on here? Huh. Where did you come from? Yeah, I did. Good one. Good one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Good fish. It's a redfish. Nice redfish. Hell yeah. Wow, he bought me good. That guy bought me good. Very soft bite, then it turned into heavy weight. Oh yeah. Well paid off so far. Hell yeah, dude. Got another nice red here. Woo! Check out that red. Woo, so cool. Man, it's like, if you don't get a bite for like 20 minutes and all of a sudden you get woken up by either a snook or redfish. And they're usually pretty damn good. That's a nice red. Uh, do you hold them upside down, do they get chill? Is that the trick? I've, I've heard that. Yeah. Shh, go to sleep. Shh. <laughs>
Catch and release redfish. Dude, they're so easy to release. They're just like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Put her there. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Jesus, did you see the bite? I took it right out of my hands. No, it's not even that good. It's just a very feisty. Did you see the bite? <laughs> okay, boys, I think we're onto something. Moments after, like three casts in after the redfish, we got ourselves a snook. My God, that bite was ferocious. I think I just crapped myself. Tons of stuff, eh? I probably got the smallest one out of the bunch. Wow, that's a really pretty one. I think so. Let's get some more. Last cast in the Everglades. Let's make this one count. 41 and a half inch snook coming in hot. There we go. Boop. That's it. Oh, something just zooted. I don't get it, man. I feel like that's happened at least 30 times for me today. Is where I've I've like I've cast the bank and then we pull up on it and something just fing zoots. Last cast. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to miss the Everglades. This place is truly, truly incredible. See ya. <laughs> That's a wrap, boys. Good trip. <laughs> I, I had a couple of my buddies fish today, so every time I always miss them. Everglades was something else, my God. I uh, I can't believe it, dude, but we did it. Two did. days in one of the craziest fishing places I've ever been to, if you guys have never been to the Everglades, do it. Put it on your bucket list. And if you do happen to come down here, definitely book a trip with Jesse. Uh, what a guy. That's, yeah. How long have you known him? I've known him probably for like four years now, four or five years. Dude can not only put a goon like myself on some snook, and some redfish and everything else, but uh, he just enjoys it, man. He's like very passionate about not only like, guiding, but watching other people catch fish, which I can really appreciate. That's cool. Like when a guy doesn't have to pick up a rod and still put a smile on his face just by watching other people link up and come tight on some big ones. So happy to end here on the Everglades as our Florida finale. It's our last day down here in the south. We fly back to Texas tomorrow on the 4th. Then from then we spend about a week in Maine back in the cabin. And then uh, I think on the 11th or 12th, we fly from Maine to Chicago, spend one night in Chicago, and then from Chicago, we fly to, do we keep it a secret? Or? I won't keep it a secret. We're gonna fly to Dubai, and then from Dubai, we're gonna fly to Port Sudan, where I experienced my first ever international trip of 2020. Uh, I have such a love-hate relationship with big sons like this. They cost a ton. Usually I feel like death afterwards, but nine times out of 10, they're amazing and they're so much fun to go on. So yeah, we figured we'd sneak in this Florida trip and it was very successful. Again, huge shout out to Alex for doing a lot of the- uh, Grunt work. The, yeah, well the grunt work and, and choreographing, uh, you know, setting up all the days and it was fun. I mean, yeah, we, we crushed it, man. I feel like this is the longest outro ever. I'm so sorry to keep you guys waiting, but I also want to keep you in the loop, let you know what's happening. Big ups to the Everglades. Huge shout out to this place. Epic. But anyway, I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Have fun. Stop.